Kuhn Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global at the O2 here. Uh, fight night is just about to start. I'm joined by Eddie Hearn with his new facial hair. Yeah. It's a lot of greys, but you know, I haven't really had time to shave this week. It actually suits you. Does it? Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. And I think it makes you look slimmer. Does it? No, I am slimmer. Oh, Told right. you. I told you, Mike. hashtag fit for 40. You, you, I said, you'll see me on Friday and think he's looking slim at It's not the beard. Oh, anyway. Okay. Ed, mm. I mean, what's kind of happened even since yesterday? We've spoken about this Jerome in the thing, obviously, for the last few days, mm. but then it came out yesterday that two further tests and substances uh, have been reported by VADA. And I'll be honest with you, it is fucking unbelievable. I mean... The first one, you know, I know Gerald Miller well. I've, I've given him quite a few opportunities. Don't get me wrong, like he's he's been worth it all, all the way. But what he has done, to be quite honest with you, is absolutely disgusting. And I always hope, and I always want to give athletes the benefit of the doubt, to say, okay, you took something, you, you know, someone gave you something to take, or you didn't know what you were taking. But do you know what is the absolute liberty about all of this? Is the way that he, after he failed that test on Monday, texts me, texts you, to say, I swear, I've not taken anything. This is sabotage. This is just a system against me. Fuck off. It's an absolute... And you know what? It makes me sick, sick, that someone would go to those lengths in a fight. People have died in the ring, you know? And you're talking about Anthony Joshua, you're talking about someone, this guy has tried to get such an edge, and it's not just an edge of a little something. This is the whole hog. This is a man that was so possessed to get an edge over Anthony Joshua in a fight that could have, you know, who knows what could have happened. Anthony Joshua could have been injured in that ring that night. You know, something even worse. And all because the man weren't big enough, weren't brave enough to do it right, to do it as a sport. He had to cheat. He had to try and cheat the system. And it's frightening to think that this could go on. And we know it goes on. But to this extensive level, and this is a guy who signed for VADA testing. It's not a guy who goes, I don't know, I won't get tested. He knows he's going to get tested, like, every week. So what, what are you doing? Like, cheating's bad enough, but to, to the bare face cheek of it, to try and get through this. You must have been so afraid of this fight, you must have been so afraid of Anthony Joshua that you have to get this edge. And it, I am absolutely disgusted. And you know, all the questions like, would you work with this guy again? Because you always hope they were unlucky. Fighters are vulnerable people, right? They, they can get exposed, they can get manipulated. And you always hope in the past that if someone's cheated and they did know about it, someone talked them into it. This is, Probably the most extensive case of cheating in this sport we have ever seen. So, you know. Does Miller know the fight itself? Oh. He just said Miller. Miller. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this motherfucker! Does he know the fight itself? Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> He's red raging, I think. He's getting mad. What? What's that from? No, someone said Miller it just sent it to me. No, saying, he, didn't. he did. <laughs> I, don't think, I think you think the fight's still on. <laughs> but, alright. <laughs> He obviously put that message out today. Th admitting everything. Admitting, I mean, it was, it was, saying it, it was such up. a poor yeah. message. Like, we you know, disappointed it, that Anthony Joshua wasn't mess. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, so you want to come there. in, you want to insult a man's family and mother, and tell him you're going to do this. You want to shove him on the stage. You want to tell him he's going to. You're going to do this in a ring. You're going to knock him out. You're going to kill him. Whatever else has been said, and then you go and take all this shit to try and do it. I'm honestly, like, I'm quite, I like to think I'm quite a forgiving person. This is disgusting. Disgusting. The first one, GW, what, I don't even know, I've never even heard of that before. Human growth hormone and EPO. I mean, actually, when I spoke to AJ about it after the first test, he was like, you know, I, I think AJ even felt a little bit for him, you know? Like, with his statement, that we read the statement, it's like, well, you know, she's it's, it's terrible, but it's not like he was like, Inject him right. Yeah, he was. I mean, and I, I spoke to AJ last night and he said, Bro, do you imagine? Like, I would just be pummeling him and he just kept coming forward and, like, yeah, that's what would have happened with this amount of shit in your body. Yeah, so what would have happened on the night? Because I'll tell you something now, Andy Joshua don't quit in the ring. He wouldn't have given up, he would have kept going to every last breath. And I am disgusted 
that someone would try and take these lengths and gain these edges in a physical fight, especially against one of our guys, and especially against a friend of mine. Honestly, it's fucking, it's really, like, it's made me question many things, many things. Even the sport, you know? And, and you see, uh, Miller, I'm hurting inside. Fuck off, hurting inside. The sport's hurting inside, mate, because you've made a mockery of it. The World Heavyweight Championship at Madison Square Garden, all that money you were getting, but even, not the money, the opportunity, you couldn't help yourself. Couldn't leave your hand out of the cookie jar, could you? What do you think will happen to Miller, and what do you think should happen? I don't know, it's happen? not for me. It should be banned. I mean, it's not, you know, I, we keep saying, we have, we have these situations, you've got a guy fighting on the card tonight who's failed a test in the past, right? It's like... Dylan's failed a test exactly. in the past. And it's like, you you look into it, they do their reports, and they say, no, we believe this happened, this happened, there's your penalty, that's it, right? And the same, and I, again, go back to giving the benefit of the doubts to athletes. This is one of the reasons I'm so enraged, because I wanted to believe him. Do you know what I mean? Like I say, I've spent time with Drill Miller. I like the guy. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. And when he texted me the other day, I swear I've never taken anything, this is bullshit, blah, blah. I was going to reply and just thought, you know what, I'm not going to say anything because I actually, I want to believe you. This comes out and I thought, fool me once, never fool me twice, or whatever that saying is, because that's how I feel. And I, you know, and I know I don't know what he texts you, but I know he said he messaged you basically saying, it was, I know you ain't got to say it, but like no, it was but... sabotage and like, you know, I swear I'm, kids' lives and fuck, like, you know, people lie every day, right? But to do that in a fight, this is a fight. You know, it's dangerous enough as it is. It's, it's sickening, sickening. Has this situation kind of changed your thought process over, I'd say you, people that have failed tests before, but Everything is kind of a case by case yeah, scenario, and know, people will keep coming back to yeah, you. Everyone's going to say no, right? You've everyone's worked gonna, with yeah, people that have like, failed multiple but, but tests, like this. Luis Ortiz has yeah, failed exactly, multiple tests. Exactly, but that's tests. what we're saying. Yeah, when we're looking at the list right now to fight, this is the prob. This is why it's such a problem in boxing, right? He had to fight Alexander Povetkin. Okay, he was uh, mandatory. So someone said to me, "Who's on the list?" I said Manuel Char, Luis Ortiz. There's two guys who failed tests. But what are you going to do? I just I don't know the answer. But you hope that some of them were unlucky. Some of them, it wasn't unintentional. Because that's what I want to believe. But, mo people, yeah, but most people don't come out and admit it. No, he's got no choice, mate. No, I know. Come on. He wasn't going to admit it. This is this is the thing that's eating me up more than anything. And this is why it's, it's not affected me, but this is why it's in my head so much. Because I believe people that have told me that in the past. Do you know what I mean? So does it make you question... All those Possibly. other people. They're, they're different people, but if he's prepared to go out there and go, I swear, like, what would he have done? He would have gone, he would have fucking swore on a Bible. He would have swore on his kids, like, that, everything. He did. Do you know what I mean? So, everyone else is going to do it, but some, some I believe, and I don't know, but that's what threw me the most of all, because I was sort of walking around the last 24 hours before and thinking, like, he must have been unlucky because he signed to VADA testing, right? It's not like, you, oh, I doubt I'll get tested, so I'll take it and take the chance. He knows they're coming, and they're coming every week. You can't cheat the VADA system that we have in place, I believe, right? So, and he's still done it. So how desperate are you to do it? And what it makes me think is, is this the first time you've done it? Because would you do all that stuff like that? I mean, that's serious shit. I mean, there's basically nothing else he could have taken but it makes me sick to the stomach for the sport of boxing, more than anything, that this goes on. Because I'm, maybe I'm naive, but I didn't think that went on like that. Not like that. I mean, it's, it's like I say, it has to be the worst case of, of a drug results. At, at well, that level, yeah. Of all time. Mm. Well, but the problem is, say, at that level, because at the other level, you don't even get to find no, out. No, of course. I, I was... I agree with what you said. I, listen, I, I do like Gerald Miller, and it is a case of I wanted to kind of believe him. And I read the statement as well, and I thought, do you know what? Maybe something has happened there. But I believed him maybe, because he signed know. up for VADA testing. So I knew he knew that he was going to get tested. So I just thought he ain't that stupid. Like he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. 
but then HGH and EPO, like, are you fucking serious? And you know they're coming. You know they're coming. So th what worries me more about this sport is, if people know they're coming, and they're doing that, what the fuck are they doing when they know they're not coming? Has he made it impossible now for you to ever yes. work with him? Yes. Yeah. I mean, look, forgive and forget. I, like, I can't tell you how I'm going to feel in a year's time, two years' time. But how I feel right now, I don't even want to speak to the user. Because you know what? It's not even about, and again, not, not meaning to sound cheesy, Anthony Joshua is my client. He's also my mate. So what you were trying to do was to injure my mate. And you were trying to get an edge to fight him, right? And I take that very, very, very seriously, especially in sport, but especially to someone that, you know, I know what he's put in the game, Joshua. So you're saying that you were willing to take away everything that Joshua has earned in this sport, everything that he's achieved, you were willing to take that away by cheating. You know, that's not fair. Take it away from Joshua on a level playing field. You deserve it. You're the best heavyweight on the planet. But don't try and cheat the best heavyweight on the planet by being this superhuman man that gives you the physical edge to be able to do it. That, that's, that's the one thing I cannot accept. And that's more than the sport, that's personal to me that he's done that. And personal to me, also, being selfish, you give me a really fucking shit week. Do you know what I mean? I've flown out, it took me a long time to do that deal. I, I paid you very well. And I gave you great opportunities before that. Four or five fights in a year, two fights in three months recently. I gave you the opportunity to go and fight for the World Heavyweight title at Madison Square Garden and you couldn't keep your hand out of the cookie jar. You know, and, and I I hope that he was bewildered by someone else and someone got in his head and told him he could do this and but it doesn't it don't matter. The buck stops with you. And this isn't an unlucky test. This is out and out cheating. And that is completely unacceptable. And the other people that I let fight on the card, Povetkin, Lucas Brown tonight, they've done their time. They failed a, a one-off test. Someone said that someone put something in, his, something in Russia. We'll never know the truth. This is so far beyond that. So far beyond that. And, and again, sorry for being a bit ranty-ranty, but it's fucking disgusts me. Disgusts me. What's it gonna take? What's it going to take? Someone to die in the ring and then someone test positive for drugs. Is that what it's going to take for, for people to stop? Yeah, and, what, and, and the truth of it is that's not unrealistic to happen. Of course it's not. People die in the ring without yeah. facing opposite. Joshua, Josh, I'm saying now, I'm not saying Joshua could have got injured that night by a guy that was sticking needles in his fucking ass, Possibly, if that's how he was doing it. So that is so disgusting. So disgusting. Because I'll tell you, there's a guy in Sheffield who's putting his heart and soul into the sport, day in, day out. Who, by the way, gets even, like, uh, criticised by people. One of them being Jarrell Miller. Now, that geezer stood up, Joshua's taking drugs. We all know Joshua's cheating, he's on the peds. The guy has more fucking ped tests than I have meals. And still, the same person that accused him, and it's happened before. But there's a lot of people that have said it and believe that Joshua is on yeah, because, steroids. Be, yeah, be, because they say it. They said it about Jarrell Miller. But when you've got Varda, like, I can't tell you the levels of testing. This is why Jarrell Miller couldn't get away with it. He's never been Varda tested before. So what, we, he might have been doing it his whole career. But at least when you sign to Varda, when you know there's no escape, at least go, do you know what? I know I've, that I've cheated before, but I can't do it this time. And it doesn't matter because this is a massive opportunity for me. So I'm going to go in there. Couldn't, he couldn't do it without it. Maybe an addict, you know? Because you can't be right mentally to do what he did under those tested, that tested environment. Unless someone told him, though this will never show up, mate. It's bollocks. If you do the VADA testing that we use, I don't believe cheating is possible. And it's, and it's fucked it. Because Miller has always come across as someone switched on up there and kind of, of, course, of course. you know what I mean? Street smart. Very, yeah, absolutely. Common sense. Yeah, that's why this is So that's what surprise, makes me yeah. think you can't do it without it, can you? Now, one, maybe you can't fight without it, but two, you knew you couldn't beat Anthony Joshua without cheating, didn't you? Deep down. All this pushing, shoving, I'm this, I'm that. You couldn't do it, could you? And I hope any other heavyweight out there 
If you're going to get your opportunity at Anthony Joshua, fight him fair and square. Just fight him fair and square. That's all. Eddie, just finally, I know you want to get to the show. Um, there's strong rumours saying that Michael Hunt is a done deal for Joshua. There's been um, no massive movement over the last 24 hours. Still speaking to five or six different people. I wouldn't, honestly wouldn't say anyone is closer than anyone else at the moment to get done. Michael Hunter is on a list. Certainly no deal reached with him. I'm not even that you, sure to say he's a front runner. Are you dismissing Joe Joyce out of this? Yeah. 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 For what reason? Well, one, he's British, and I don't think a British fight suits what we're trying to do in America. Two, he's had seven fights. He's never beaten anybody. So that rules out Chisora as well, then? Really? Yeah, but only because his credibility and his wins and his resume are much better. But I don't think Chisora is the guy. No. Um, he's... Like, he calls everybody out, Joe Joyce, but he's had a massive offer to fight Daniel Dubois, and he don't fancy it. So let him... He's just been ordered to fight for the British title, Joe Joyce. So let him fight for the British title, and if he beats Dubois and he has a couple of wins, he'll fight Joshua 100%. Hmm. But he's not the guy to fight him at Madison Square Garden on June the 1st. Keep us posted. Okay. Edward, thank you.